Welcome back to the worst Let's Play on YouTube. And I'm trying to make a little bit less that way. I'm trying to make it a little bit less that way. By, um, actually making good on my promise. Well, not really promising, but making good on what I said to show you guys the hidden area of that first level. So, here it is. This is the wall that the, um, what I'm shooting at right now. You can see the little walkway down there that you can come in from, um, the entrance of the cave that's where that little cart that you're running from breaks the wall so you only get one shot to come in here and if you save and if you save at the uh the checkpoint over there not this one but like because this one they give you because this room is a fucking bitch but if you save at the one over there and then you die you can't come into this room again So yeah, I almost got past the room on the first try. Wow. You saw that, um... The hidden object was right there, if you saw it. And... I already got it, so I don't know why, uh... I don't know why it shows there again. But yeah, once you get it... It will always show up on the, uh... In any save of the, uh, downloaded game. It'll show up. Once you get once you get a hidden item, and yeah, they show up in the divine room of transportation. I don't know what the hell their purpose is, but to just make you a little bit more suicidal, because these bonus rooms really are the most ambiguous and worst in the game. Like you can see here, there's like some crazy wall jumping on the platforms you have to do. You got to jump from this wall to that platform. Do not touch this fucking wall under any circumstances. That's just there to fuck you up. Because sometimes you get the second jump after jumping off a wall, but sometimes you don't. I don't fucking understand, so I just don't fuck with it. And you have to land in this little pocket of air right here. This little strip right here, or that falling spike will kill you. And of course you have to land on the platform. Because, you know, that fucking village of people that are under the guy's tyranny decided to send the fucking hemophiliac kid who is the the size of a rat's testicle after it's been swimming in a cold swimming pool for days. I don't know why they would do that. How almost anything kills you. But yeah, these hidden item videos are just going to be bonus videos, and so this is just me trying to demonstrate how to get to them. Because, I mean, you need to see exactly how I do this, because if you don't do this shit perfectly... You get murk, bruh! See, it's that little pocket of air. Oh yeah, and the platforms. Uh, if you don't land on the very top of them, or... I don't know, even in that... Even if you do, you'll fall right the fuck through them. I know they look kinda big. But, um... But yeah, there's a really ambiguous, like, small space on them that you can actually walk on. And in the later levels, when you see me... Oh yeah, once you get the, um... Once you get the hidden item, it makes it sound like... Blah, 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 blah. So yeah. I have no idea what their purpose is, but... I said I'd show it to you guys, and I did. So there's that. Oh yeah, so once you're... Yeah, once you're, you're like, kind of up there... Just keep uh, walking left, and then you fall down here. Um, this is actually like the third time I'm recording getting past the room, and the sixth time I'm recording this overall. So this better fucking work. Anyway, next episode I get to the uh, next checkpoint, and from there fight Kraidgeif, the uh, giant green Mr. T-boss. See ya!